Hello everybody, this is Orlando from a collector's dream and here I am again with the uh, 1972 top set. So we're going to continue on showing you the complete set. I hope you enjoyed the last couple of videos. I'm going to try to speed things up a little bit because really we're not even halfway through the set yet. And I don't want to make this like a five part series here, but I may have to. So anyway, let's go on. Ed Spray, this is the 72 set I'm showing you. And just to give you an idea what this set, entire set looks like and all the different cards from the set. Uh, this was when Topps decided to get a little more creative, get a little fancier with their things, get up to speed with the groovy times of 1972, you know, heading into those, those disco era. So they decided to come up with these cards that looked like with a marquee and different colors. Here's Eddie Watt, Charlie Fox, Jim Nettles. I'm going to just show you the whole set, all the players here. Oh, wait, hold on a second here. I'm making a mess here. Okay, Carl Morton. Here's Aveda Pinson, one of the good players back in the days. And these cards, like I said in the last video, I pulled out of packs myself put them in the boxes and they were put away for many, many years and then they were found. Stick Williams. My dad found them. My mom called me and I'd forgotten about it. There's Tim McCarver. Guess I better pull him out. He's a, he's a Hall of Famer there. Pat Dobson. Here's the rookie cards. The rookie cards are pretty neat. There's the John Matlock rookie. I like how they, they did that format there. Chris Chambliss with the uh, All-Star Rookie 71 All-Star. There's Gary just had Marty Patton. But this is a huge set. It's almost um, 800 cards. Don Kessinger, Steve Keeley. Here's Dave Kingman. I think this is Dave Kingman's rookie card if I'm not mistaken there. Let me know in the comments. This is Dick Billings, Gary Neubauer. This is Norm Cash. That's a good picture of Norm Cash. I like that. Looks like he's arguing a strike call or something like that. It's Jim Brewer, Gene Kleins, Carbach, Gary Durker. Young Gary, Gary Dirk, right there. There's the Twins team. You know, like I said earlier, you know, uh, in the last video, everyone should collect what they like to collect. If you like this set, collect the set. If you like some of the players from the set, just the Hall of Famers, that's great. Do that. You know, that's probably your best bet. But, you know, if you really uh, are a collector and like the hobby, and I'm a set collector like I was for all my career. You know, I'm already retired. I'm getting older, so I'm not collecting. That's Doug McGraw. I don't really have... I don't know how much time I have left to collect all these sets. So I'm done with my set collecting. And I'm just kind of, you know, I love to go back to, to see the stuff I put together. And, you know, now focus on a little bit more of the... Hall of Fame players that I liked. This is a Chris Beyer. And Chris Beyer in action. Darren Johnson. You know, these in action cards are pretty neat. That one wasn't a good pose. There's Vita Blue. One of the best prospects, one of the best players back in the days, one of the best pitchers. And there he is in action. It looks like. I don't know, he didn't like the call, or it was a pop-up, maybe, I'm not sure. Right, a blue in action. There's Daryl Evans, another good player for the Braves. And here he is in action. That's a pretty weird action. I think it's just jumping up there. He did play first base, but I like the crowd in the background. That's what I like about these pictures. These are, a lot of these are game pictures. The in action one especially. There's Clay Kirby. There's Clay Kirby in action. So 
Let's see who needs that. Paul Shaw. Yeah, actually, there's Doc Ellis. Good crafty pitcher. Here he is in action. At Crane Pool. He has eight crane pool in action. He was first baseman. Bill Melton. He's a catcher. Yeah, he is Bill Melton in action. Ron Bryant. Ron Bryant in action. Gates Brown. Big Gates Brown. It's a big time home run hitter there. Yeah, it's the coach, Frank Casey. Gene Tennis, very underrated catcher in those days. Dave Justy, Jeff Burrows. And this is a cool card, I like this one. This is the Cubs, but the Cubs is the one that doesn't have the Cubs team. It has the floating heads with the kind of facsimile autographs here of all the players. There's the Ernie Banks right there, you see that? So it's a pretty cool card. You know, so that's why some people collect these team cards or even some of these like unique team cards, you know, and uh, if you're a Cubs fan, you got to have this card. Kurt Bavacqua, Fred Norman. So let's go to the next, uh, next pile here that I got. I'll keep this in order here. Okay. Moving on with Mel Queen. Johnny Briggs. Here's a, another rookie, Dodgers. Oh, it's a Charlie Huff rookie card. Look at that. Charlie Huff. He even looked old back then. 1972. Charlie Huff rookie card. Look at that. It's for the Dodgers. He pitched until he was like, well, I don't know, it seemed like he was 50 years old. I remember when he was with the Marlins. Mike Fiore. Phil Roof. Pretty sure he was a starting pitcher for one of the, uh, for the one year at the Marlins. He was like their top pitcher, their starting, opening day pitcher, I meant to say. He was their opening day pitcher. Patron Bloomberg. Tommy Helms. That's when the Marlins were terrible. Dick Drago. Dal Maxfield. No, the Marlins are always terrible. Tom, Tom Egan. Mel Pappas. There's Joe Rudy. Joe Rudy was a good good hitter back then. Danny McLean, look at that. Danny McLean. It's an incredible picture. He had one year where he won 38. 31 and 6. He was 31 and 6 with a 1.96 ERA. Gary Sutherland. Grant Jackson, here's another rookie here. Mike McQueen and Alex Johnson. Here's, uh, there comes Joe Necro. Roger Metzger. Eddie Casco. Randy Stennett, another I remember with the Pirates. There's Jim Perry. Here's his brother, great pitcher also. And there's the playoff cards. So here's another little subset that, you know, you can collect. In these days, of course, there were no inserts or anything like that. Not even autograph cards, nothing. I mean, it was just the plain set. But as you saw, you know, they have different types of, uh, you know, if you saw my first one, they had the traded sets that were part of the set. Just different series and then they had these uh, subsets which were the playoffs and this is the uh, the Pirates the Orioles were the champions there and then the World Series games game one that was Mike Cuellar with the Orioles that's game two and game three Comes the Pirates. There's 
So some people collect, like I was getting into this, some people collect just the, uh, there's Clemente right there. Some people collect the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, all-star cards, or the series cards. I'm gonna pull this out, that's, that's Clemente. And, or the World Series cards and things like that. You know, you collect those subsets, just uh, collect what you like. So, but this will give you a, a good look at what, what you got here, what different things you have back in the vintage area era, vintage area that you can collect. That's game seven. And then of course, Pirates win, they beat the Orioles. And there's Manny Sangi in there. And so that's a good year for the, for the Pirates here. There's another uh, rookie. There's Jay Johnstone, Ron Taylor, Merv Rettman. Good Orioles hitter there. Jim McLaughlin. Here's a Yankees card. Yankees team. Yaron Lee. Tom Timmerman. Hey, this guy should be in the Hall of Fame. Why isn't he in the Hall of Fame? Come on. Get Richie Allen in the Hall of Fame. Don Mincher, Frank Lizzie, another all-star rookie, Steve Brown. Let's move on to uh, Tommy Agee. So I hope I'm not boring you guys. I hope you're gonna at least a good look at these. I'm trying to not go too slow or too fast. Look at this guy. The glasses and the... I don't mean to make fun of these, but some of these are kind of cool. There's Boop Pal. Uh, these cars are in really nice condition here. I say centered. Uh, this is the checklist again. This is down the third series checklist. You got Ken Reynolds here. You got Sandy Alomar, senior. Sandy Alomar, great player. Good picture of Sandy. Boots Day. You know, some people collect the Latin players. So you'd like to collect the Sa Sandy Alamores. Jim Lomborg. Another good picture back then. And George Foster. You know, George Foster was a great hitter. Had over 50 home runs. You know, just didn't have a long career, these guys. But they were great hitters back then. Another rookie. Randy Huntley. Sparky Lyle. I mean, I could talk about all these guys. Ralph Gaw, this guy was quick. And let's see here, Steve Mangori, the Padres team. There he is, Felipe Alou, one of the great Hispanic players. And there's Tommy John. This is who they named the surgery after. The first guy had the Tommy John or that type of surgery. So they named it the Tommy John, and he uh, pitched forever after surgery. Wes Parker, Bobby Bolin, oops, I don't wanna make a mess either. Dave Concepcion, another great player there I liked. And there's more rookies. This is a long big stat, guys. So I'm just gonna go off here and keep showing, keep talking baseball, Mickey Rivers. Played for the uh, Yankees later, Bobby Floyd, Al Sarenson, Cesar Tovar. Just to me, these cars bring me back to the days when I was a young kid, when I remember watching these guys on TV or listening about them and listening to them on the radio playing. And, you know, I remember most of these players. So it's to go back in time for me kind of back in the time machine and you're looking at these cars and you're forgetting about all the problems of the world or all the problems that people talk about the hobby. Ike Brown, look at that, was a good, good player. There's Gaylord, Gaylord Perry. I better pull him out, he's a, he's a star here. He's a Hall of Famer. And uh, you know, there's just, that's what the hobby's all about. 
you know. I mean, I may not get a lot of views on this video because it's just me boring talking, showing cards, but I don't care. I'll go back and I'll look at these videos again just to look at the cards. You can always uh, just tune me out and just put, uh, put on mute, mute me if you don't want to listen to me, but you know, it's just me kind of talking, showing cards. Kind of talking to myself sometimes, showing cards. That's what it seems like, but I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time with whoever's watching me. So there's uh let me get this back over here. Get these cards out of order. Okay, Danny Frazella. And there he is in action. Yeah, I don't know how they chose which one were the in action players or not, because you know, I mean, come on, Dick Deeds. Dick Deeds in action, even though it's a cool card. But you know, not one of the better players. Claude Austin. Claude Austin in action. Spinnerwald. Spinnerwald in action. Yeah, I like the in action shots, but come on, give me some better players, you know? Uh, okay, we got Joe Pepitone. Joe Pepitone in action. I, I remember these players back in the days, but I would like to have seen them do some in action shots for some other players that they didn't do. That's a neat one, it's uh, horizontal in action. Steve Renko. Again, I like the, the pictures they use. I like the backgrounds that they have in all of these. And you have the players back there. It's not just one person, or it's not like this one, which is just a picture. Most of them do have something to them. Aparicio. I gotta pull him out of there. He's. Uh, Latin player, all of Hall of Famer, and there's that Parisio in action. Oh, that's a cool card. I don't remember that card. Pull him out of there. Put that in a little, a little bit of holder. And here's another rookie card here. Rich Hand, Sonny Jackson, Aurelio Rodriguez, Steve Blass, Joe LaHood. Jose Pena, Earl Weaver, he's a Hall of Fame manager, great manager for the Orioles, took him to the championship many, many years. Earl Stoudemire, he's a pitching coach now, that's way off centered. Pat Kelly, uh, we're making a little mess here, guys, sorry about that. Okay, back to uh, Steve Stone, the Red Sox team, look at that. Yaz in there, Corey Foster, Stan Swanson, Buck Martinez, Steve Barber. More rookies. Let's see who's in here. Nobody that I know. Bill Hands, Marty Martinez, Michael Kenny, Bobby Gritch. Ron Cook, Troy White, good Yankee player. And then these are really neat little subsets that they have too, where they had the uh, boyhood stars, boyhood photos of the stars. So this is Joe Torre, and that's Joe Torre when he was a kid. See, look at that. So that's kind of neat. That's another subset if you like collecting these kind of things, you know. And then it talks about young Joe Torre. Began playing baseball at the age of eight in his neighborhood in Brooklyn. So again, it's part of the set, number 341, and it goes on to a few other guys here, which I'm gonna show you now. But um, another little neat thing about this set, if you don't wanna collect the entire set, just collect what you want. Here's Wilbur Wood, when he was a kid fishing. The Willie Stargell, come on, any, any Pirates guy has to like this card. Willie Stargell, when he was a kid, look at that. He wasn't that young there. But it talks about Willie, you know. So it's it's a pretty neat card. And then here's here's Dave McNally when he was a kid. Look at that crew cut. There's a Rick Wise, the boy here. Look at that. When he was a kid. So I like these cards. Kind of neat. Look at this guy. Jim Fergosi. Did you know Jim Fergosi played this thing? 
He was a kid. Crazy. Look at Tom Seaver. That's one of my favorites right here. Tom Seaver. Boyhood photo. Look at Tom Seaver when he was a kid. So if you haven't never seen these cars, guys, uh, you know, take a look at these and enjoy something different other than all the shiny, shiny cars. Look at Sal Bando as a kid. So let's see where I'm at here. Um, I think I'm at a point where I got to end this video because it's been 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on and uh, show you guys some more of the uh, common cards um, like these from the 1972 set. So, uh, th guys, thank you so much for watching again. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, everyone that has subscribed to my channel, and uh, if you haven't, uh, you know, please do. I show my collection. I show, uh, uh, you know, sports card shows. I go to uh, sports card uh, shops. And I show all that in my videos. And mainly it's just my collection, me talking about cards. So if you like that, just keep watching. And have an awesome day, guys. This is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. Thanks again for watching.